Good morning, good afternoon, and a good night. Welcome back to another City Skylines video. My name is Sports Monkey, and welcome back to the City of Tantrum. And we are back here in my YouTube series for another video for today. The citizens of Tantrum, they have voted, and they are currently looking for more jobs. And what the great citizens of Tantrum are, they are a blue collar working class town. We do have a majority of our jobs in this part of town are generic industry. So as mayor, I asked the citizens and they, they were okay with it. They approved it. They were looking, we were looking for jobs that could, that could be created and create a lot of money for a town. We resulted in creating or wanting the forest industry. And as you can tell on the screen, we do have a lot of forest industry. We do have the forest industry that was approved by the town and where we could build the forest industry. So now that the districts and everything is in place, you know, we started out with the forest industry road layout. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. When you're creating a road layout and you have semis, you can't have a giant straight road because of the braking. Logs cost and cost. Logs are very heavy and basically semis can't break as well. So we have this little zigzag of a road just because we don't want our semis to go run away not run run away is not the right word but basically we are not trying to get anybody hurt so we have the little zigzag going up our plateau and what we're trying to do is we're trying to create the city skylines forest industry road layout and now obviously right now we do not have a five star forest industry we're just starting out so what we're trying to do is we're trying to create we're trying to figure out what we are going to do with the road layout. So for this road layout, what we're going to do is we are on top of a plateau and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about shortly. So on top of this plateau, we need to actually build the force industry on top of it. This is our only real flat land in the entire map. So we are kind of stuck with this area. Um, this part of the map was there, so we really didn't edit or contour too much. Like you can tell here, you can't really tell that we're on. Okay, there you go. You can see that we're kind of on a plateau on an island, elevated island. You know, like it's a plateau. If you know what a plateau is, it's a plateau. Anyway, so this is our road layout. And I think for now, this is going to be fine. As time goes on, we can move it down off the plateau to the lower level, which is fine too, which we probably will have to do because obviously the plantations and everything else um, with the forest industry, you know, those are big industries and those are some pretty big things that we need to create. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to build a main building just to unlock everything else in the forest industry. So, so just place it in front of your industry and you're, you'll be fine. It's not really a big deal. The building isn't really too ugly. Now, the next thing you're going to see is that we have a small tree plantation. And then the, we also have a sawmill and then a small log yard. Now, each of these have their own responsibilities. For example, the plantation is where we're getting our raw crops from. It's so basically the trees, the raw product, it goes to the sawmill. Then the sawmill either it'll go to the log yard or it'll be exported via um, our throughway. That's why we created that um, city skylines entrance earlier um, before. Well, I guess it's really not in the video, but anyways, we created a new entrance. So if you really want to be a noob, you could just place these plantations along the road and just call the day. If you're looking for something a little bit more advanced, um, you know, you, you can create it there, its own road. Basically the plantation area will have its own road system in place. And right now is we're just trying to figure out where to place it. Now you're going to see that we, I stretch out the road pretty far and I click and right now that is a normal road. Now you can use a, industrial road a small industrial road that works pretty perfect you know it looks good but the problem is is we're in the forest industry so i think the best bet 
is honestly using a dirt road. I think that works best for like the farming industry and the forest industry. And now watch, you're going to watch me struggle a little bit right now with the nodes. And sometimes nodes and city skylines can be just a massive pain. And that it's just, sometimes you struggle. Sometimes you don't like you could see right now it's off center and it just does not look right. So trying to match up the nodes as best as possible is something I highly suggest you do, but just be patient. Like I end up getting it pretty right. Like that looks like it looks like a right angle overall and it looks pretty good to me. So the next step we have is we have to grab the plantations and we're going to, this is our plantation area. Now what we, you want to do is these plantations create a lot of traffic. So you're going to see on the screen is we're going to give each of the plantations their own little roadway. So you could see I've done that for the first two. They each have their own on and off road, if that makes sense. Like essentially they see where the blue arrow is. If I can show you where the blue arrow is, you could that is where the trucks will go in and out of the plantation. So each so so far both plantations have their own roads and then here's another example of that where the you know we're just making sure that these plantations have enough space now we get to the part of the video where we have more node issues like look at how ugly this could be watch watch the road layout and wa just watch it the node just does not want to go so if you ever have an issue with the, the nodes in city skylines I highly suggest that like it just be patient with it. Like you could see me struggle. Like it's, it's embarrassing. This is city skylines 101 of being embarrassed. So what I eventually do is I'm, you could see just, I stretch it 500 times. All right, sports money, we get the picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that road straight across and we're going to over extend it. And then we're going to connect it from both sides. And this way, it just to look, it looks a lot cleaner this way. It just looks a lot better and a lot cleaner. And it just, it maintains the symmetry of the build itself. So now, um, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. I don't know why I like clicking education over the, the forest industry, but we do add a couple more plantations just for the time being. Obviously, forest industry is huge. So, I mean, this is going to fill up our plateau really fast, like insanely fast. So now that we have all the plateau plateaus, wow. And now that we all have the small plantations in place, what we need to do is we need to create an area for the sawmill and the small log yard. So are we going to build it down there? No, not yet. Um, we want to later on, we will definitely build it down there, but for the time being, we're not going to do that. So I want to create a little auxiliary road in this auxiliary road. We're going to place the sawmill. Like it's either the sawmill or the small log yard. It just depends on how you're feeling. Like the smaller log yards are actually pretty big buildings. The sawmills are really not nearly as big. So I think we'll place down two sawmills like right here, just side by side and just place them down. And then it looks good. Actually, that fits pretty, <laughs> to be honest with you guys, that fits pretty perfect. That fits, I actually like that. So what we're going to do next is we need to still place the sawmill, obviously, but we're going to try to place it around the main building of the forest industry. Now, this is where you can get into trouble when creating cities now we're going to zoom in here and you're going to see that there's going to be that that is not good for traffic if you have too many um connections with stoplights like that will back up traffic forest industry creates enough traffic as it is and that would just not be a good spot for it so yeah again i make the same mistake twice and um you know i'm, I'm not going to edit that because people when you're playing city skylines people make mistakes all the time so I, I make a road straight across i think that's a good enough gap where this the that everything will be okay traffic wise and what we'll eventually do is i'll mess with the traffic lights on top of that i think it'll be okay so we add the sawmill 
So we basically have all of everything set up for the forest industry. What you're gonna see next is the fast forward rendering of all the detailing I did. So remember, we have a one star forest industry, so you're gonna start seeing the detailing. So let's get started. So this was our final product or like I just detailed a small amount of our forest industry. I added a lot of fencing and then I did add some rocks and some trees with some bushes. The main thing I did was I used the bus line or I added the bus line and the parking lots. Basically people need to get to work. So you're going to see that I click on the forest industry. It's not only important to have goods created and processed, but you're gonna need a number of employees in order to level up your city. So we basically are bringing buses in full of people. Now the next, you know, the next step is, is to level up is we need more people. So we're, we're gonna need to add to our residential. As you can tell, our residential demand is very high. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get into the city center part of our build for today. So the city center was something that I wanted to focus on. So let's get started with that. So here is the city center and it's, well, you can see above it's blank, but you can see that there is a major issue. You can see that there are residential buildings in the way. And I just don't like the overall look of it. I want to continue that large road and delete everything. So I'm deleting paths. I'm just getting rid of the residential zoning. So eventually those buildings will go away. You can also try to, so I got rid of the zoning. You can also use the move it tool. And when you use the move it tool, you just have to be careful because this is gonna get rid of everything in your city or whatever you delete. So whatever you hit the bulldozer button is gonna be deleted. That includes roads, everything else in between. And just watch, I hit the bulldozer button. It's very easy to clean up, but it can be very tricky. You can actually accidentally delete stuff that you don't want to. So just be careful when you're using the bulldozer mod um, in the move it tool. So now that everything is a clean sheet, um, you know, we can build whatever we want. Oh, and there's a loose straggler. We're gonna delete that person. Now we have all the room in the world to build what we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just move that large road forward. And if you can't tell, we we are at a slight angle. So what I, if this is like a slight dog leg to the right, if you golf, you'll understand what I'm saying. And that is a slight, it's a slight turn and it goes perfect. It's going perfectly towards City Hall. And I know, I know not many of you golf, but it's just a, at a slight angle. It's at such an angle where it's slightly off and it just makes everything look bad. Now, the problem we have here is the zoning. And it just does not, with those small roads, the zoning is definitely, definitely thrown off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete those small roads and we're gonna try to see if we could redo some of the zoning and just see what the final product, What see what, actually happens when we redo the zoning and we still have our slight right turn and everything looks great so what i'm going to do next guys is i'm going to just fast forward this so this video is not longer than it should so you guys will end up seeing the next result so we'll be right back so guys this is the end result of the city center i made so you can see that commercial definitely filled in and just Having that straight shot from City Hall to down that large road, I think it looks cool. Then you can see I made some of the parks now. You can see we're kind of blinded by the light right now. Oof, that is just not good. If you use the ultimate eye candy mod to the left, you can adjust the sunlight. And obviously now you can see everything perfect in our city and the sun has moved. And so this is our view from City Hall, and I love the symmetry. I love it. There's a little bit of rock work. We have a couple parks. We have a couple paths. We have trees that are perfectly lined up in symmetry or symmetrical. And overall, it just looks good. Like we use the disaster park. We used another park that was a monument. And then we created our own park with the rock. I know that does not look sexy. I know that, but it overall looks really good. It fits in really well. And overall, I'm very happy with this. I probably should have added more assets. That rock 
formation is very whatever. I mean, it's it, it works, but it's just very whatever. But overall, I, I think this works out really well. I'm very happy. So guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If not, hit the dislike button. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.